Hey everybody, Mazer here, and I have a new product review for you. Recently, I was made aware of a new website called Temu, which is like Wish.com or Alibaba, where they offer you a wide variety of items for inexpensive prices. However, Temu's claim to fame is that they have very fast shipping, whereas Wish.com and Alibaba usually take a few weeks. They say they can get it to you within under two weeks. And if you do not get your product in by the specified date, you actually get a $5 credit towards your next order. So I went browsing through their website and I found an item that I wanted to try out and I ordered it and lo and behold, it did show up within five days. That was very impressive. But the question is, did the product I order actually come through and will it work? Well, let's find out. So, I got this for about $7. I believe shipping and handling was, uh, I think it was free actually. And what this product is, is a chainsaw attachment for your hand drill. Now I already opened it just to make sure all the parts were here and they are, but you'll notice something interesting as we unbox it. So here's the section where you put the chainsaw. This is the clasp that goes over it like this. You got a handle and a little safety guard. The chainsaw, I don't even know what you call this, blade without the chain. And the chain itself. There you go. You notice what's missing? That's right. There is no instruction manual to this. Not a single like toilet paper sized square on how to assemble this product. However, I was lucky enough to find someone on YouTube who bought one of these from Amazon for about $24. And through his instructional video, I was able to figure out the basic idea of how this is put together. So what we're gonna do is take a moment and try to assemble this product and see if it can actually be done. One second. All right, we got it, I believe, assembled. God, this just feels so dangerous. But yeah, we got it assembled. The chain rotates. So, um, I guess we just lock this into my drill bit. Oh God, look at that. And, uh, oh. oh, look at that. It works. Okay, make it as tight as possible. Um, oh, here we go. So I would hold it like I would hold it like this. Doesn't look like it actually like go very fast though. Huh. Well, now that we got it assembled, let's find out if this thing. Oh wait, let's... Oh Jesus! Oh my God! Oh, okay, um, yeah, it works. I changed the speed of my drill. Oh boy. Uh, okay, we're going to take this out in the field and, um, Jesus, uh, see if this works. So, one second while we reposition the camera and find something to test it on. Oh God. All right, guys, we're back. How you doing? Got some goggles. I got my gloves. Everything about this tool, like, screams. Hello, boy. There we go. Uh, dangerous, so I'm not taking any risks. So, we got a piece of a branch here. Let's give it a shot. So 
So now let's try it. That's cutting. recommend of course you uh, put it on a more stable surface than my cheap little table here that I made um, try it one more time It's a little loose though. Probably need to figure out a way to keep this nice and tight. All right, so this is new for a review. Uh, we saw that it worked, it cut through everything. However, going through some information, the chain kept getting loose here. And I just could not shake the feeling that I did something wrong. And I did, apparently. Um, I went back to the video that showed the assembly of this from another YouTuber and apparently I assembled this completely wrong that's why I was getting kicked back and everything this is dangerous as hell so we're going to try to reassemble this properly and see what kind of a difference this makes alright so what I realized from the video is this is actually a blade tightener and we did not put that in so what you basically do is you uh, looks like you put this part in here like this and then when you're assembling everything you're supposed to line it up with this part right here see like that and by tightening and loosening that that's how you get the blade set up properly so with that there, I'll assemble the blade portion here. As best we can. Now that we got everything properly tightened, the way it's supposed to be, uh, we're going to cut down a quick branch. I would use that log again that I did at the start of the video, but I realized that it's just way too dangerous without proper clamps and everything. So we're just going to prune a little bit more of my tree once again. Let's see how this works now.
we are back. Um, what do I think of this? Well, it works. It does work. As you saw, sometimes I got kicked back, which I think is when stuff got stuck in the chain and got yanked down here. Um, I'm going to be honest with everybody who is watching this video. I am not technically inclined enough to say if that is the product's problem or user error. I want to think it's mostly my fault. I don't know if I've over tightened the chain. Because when the chain was looser, it was cutting through everything with no kickback. So I might have over tightened it. Not 100% sure. But it doesn't feel like it's over tightened. Would I recommend this? I, you know what, I don't know. I don't know. I've seen other videos where people use this beautifully. Uh, I don't know if there's a difference in build quality between the $20 ones that they got on Amazon versus this one that was $6 on Temu. Honestly, I will still be using this very carefully, but only when I need to trim that tree you saw me working on in the video. So, yeah, I really am not sure what to tell you. This is something you might want to try for yourselves. Again, it was $6. I believe the shipping and handling was free because it was my first order. And it got to me within five days, which on Temu's side, that's fantastic. As for this... Again, I'm going to use this very sparingly. I only need to trim that tree once a year, maybe once every two years. And I don't need to buy a full chainsaw for that, so I'll use this. So yeah, if you do decide to try one of these out, again, it's only $6. It gets to your house pretty quickly. Just please, for the love of God, be very careful when it comes to one of these tools. Uh, like, it does the job, and it worked. There is kickback, at least in my experience. Again, I don't know if that was my fault or the way this is designed. I, I really wish I had more experience to give you guys a better you know, answer on that. And I know I did some things a little wrong. I should really invest in an actual table instead of just using clamps on that log at the start of the video. But there you have it. It works. It does work. Is it safe enough to constantly use? Uh, I don't know. Would I recommend you buying it? I say a 7 out of 10? You know, if you have $6 to spare and you go on Timu and you want to give this a shot yourself, I mean, that's just the cost of a fast food burger these days. So, no big loss. And if it does work for you, Awesome. Cheap chainsaw. If it doesn't work for you, at least you can make a video about it on YouTube and get some views. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I am Mazer. This is, hands down, the most dangerous product I've ever reviewed. And we will see you all next time. Bye!